All right, as you can see, I went ahead and added the horizontal tail back here and shaped it to the plan form. What we're gonna do now is jump to a side view and we're gonna add in this big vertical tail in the back. The way that we can do that is again, click on fuselage. We're gonna add a wing component. And notice that if we try and come in and rotate this in X, it's gonna rotate both sides. And if we turn that all the way up to 90, now we've got two overlapping sections right on top of each other. And we definitely do not want that. So if we turn off XZ symmetry, now we only have this one section that we're after. Set that back to 90, and now we can go about placing it. So I'm gonna jump to a side view that lines up with my aircraft plan form here. We're gonna drag this all the way back in X, set it about where we want it to be. Now the trick with vertical tails is that you want it to be overlaid with this and just barely inside the fuselage so that if you need to, it can intersect the skin if you're doing a surface method or trying to dump out the surfaces in geometry using something like say comp geom under your analysis. Um, but you don't want it so far down that it starts to hit the vehicle cruciform here for the fuselage when it smashes down to a degenerate geometry, which we can cover that in another video anyway. So the trick here is to give it just a little bit of Z so that it's just inside the surface, and then you can place it. So let's come over and take a look at our side view. And I've gone ahead and dropped a measurement from the tip of this vertical tail to about where it hits the fuselage, and that's 25 and a half feet. So let's take a look at how that works out in VSP. If we go to section and say for span, we want 25.5, say all right. And if we go to transform and let's just, for the sake of argument, see what happens when we set that in X to try and line up the trailing edges and give it a little bit in Z. That's not too bad actually, that's pretty close to the surface. So why don't we go ahead and give this a little bit extra in span so that it can sit down inside the surface and then we'll line these corners up and get a nice plan form layout. So just for fun, let's set this to say 26 or even 27, that's not gonna hurt anything. So now we can come to transform and we're gonna start lining this stuff up. Now we're going to go to section, we're going to give it some extra sweep. And heck, that could be you know, 35 degrees maybe. Let's go to transform. We're going to bring this down in Z. So it lines up right about there. Let's call that six and a half. Why not? And we're going to nudge this just a bit. I bet you that's a little bit more sweep than we have set in there. That's looking pretty good. And then let's just nudge this until it lines up. We can always collapse this range down if you find the controls are too rough. Line that up just so. All right. So the next thing that we can do is go to section. And we're just going to adjust our root and tip cord until they line up the way that we want. Now, that looks to me like a tip cord of about three and a half. Maybe even... 3.75 if we want to give it a little extra and as far as the root let's collapse that down a little so we have some finer control and something in the neighborhood of maybe 17 and 3 no let's try 17 and a half that's not too bad so if you didn't really care what the cord lengths were here and you again wanted to just set this trailing edge sweep you can set secondary sweep and then set this to you know whatever it looks like it's probably about a 12 degree sweep and you just set the root cord for right now we can leave that as is i'm going to go to general and change that color so that it matches what i usually use for tails and while i'm at it i'm going to change the one for the wing too and now we can just double click here or double click here in the geometry tab call this the vertical and we are going to attach that so now we've got our vertical tail size, we've got our horizontal tails, but you'll notice that the horizontal tail and the wing aren't in the right spots. They're still sitting on the Z equals zero line. So the next step is to go to the front view and start tweaking things like your airfoil thicknesses, your dihedral. If we wanted to, we could even go ahead and give the wing a little bit of root incidence and uh, let it wash out. 
so those will be the next steps, but that is how you place a vertical tail.